Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another JVS Movie Review. Today we are bringing you the latest HBO Max theaters day and date release, <laughs> Reminiscence, starring Hugh Jackman, uh, Rebecca Ferguson, and Thandi Newton. And here's a quick synopsis of this film. A private investigator of the mind navigates the darkly alluring world of the past by helping his clients access lost memories. His life is forever changed as he uncovers a violent conspiracy while trying to solve the mystery behind a missing client. Man, this movie sounds great in the synopsis. And they throw everything in this movie to make it so that that's no longer the case here. So, the movie is Hugh Jackman playing a private detective. Uh, Thandie Newton is his partner in here. And they navigate the mind and help people live out past memories for joy for pain clearly we're in a futuristic world here where um the levees have broken hmm it's a, it's a interesting thing this interesting thing to put in there where the levees have broken and it seems like the cities are underwater so people reliving their past is the best escape from everything that's going on in the world and then we're introduced to rebecca ferguson character who just shows up one day stating that she lost her car keys and then everything goes crazy. Hugh Jackman's character ends up falling for her and then we get into her going missing. And once she goes missing, the movie completely transforms to what I thought would be a sci-fi thriller into a kind of a film noir detective story here. Um, it really works well on that aspect at times, especially with the voiceovers that they do with Hugh Jackman in this movie. It, it, it adds an element of a 50s detective story with him doing these voiceovers as he's attempting to search for her and finds out more and more about Rebecca Ferguson's character's life and what she went through. And as he goes deeper into her life, more dark secrets and everything are revealed about her to him and we get to see his how that has an impact on his character in this film it's very interesting at times in this movie at other times it feels relentless in the amount of stuff they throw at you um the most positive thing i can say is that it looks beautiful it is it is beautifully shot <laughs> that's about it though because it it just throws so much at you and what I mean by it throws so much at you along with dealing with Hugh Jackman's character you have to deal with Dundee Newton's character in her past which they don't explore as much as they should and then they don't even explore the characters of Rebecca Ferguson's character's past all we get is her a little bit about certain people like it, it's it's a crime boss in this movie that it seemed for the first 30 minutes of this movie was going to be the big villain or something in this film and then he's not anymore. And you're like, wait, then why did you focus on him so, so much? And nothing is given to you why that happened. It just happens and it leaves you confused. And that's what a lot of this movie does. It's another scene where Hugh Jackman is fighting someone who is apparently the worst person in this movie. And as the guy is about to perish, he saves his life. And then the guy tries to kill him again. And like, what was the point of any of that? Like, it it goes into the realm of being extremely silly. And I am a sucker, a complete sucker for a detective story. I absolutely love them. And I was attempting in my mind to make excuses for some of the things that was happening in the film until I realized that the, that's just not, this film is just not good. It's just way too much going on here. From a performance standpoint, Hugh Jackman is really good until they don't allow him to be. And what I mean by that is they put his character in situations that just makes it too silly for him to be good. It, 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 be, it comes across like he's forcing a great performance out of this. Rebecca Ferguson is unfortunately, she has no chemistry with Hugh Jackman in this film. And we are to believe that these two are this amazing couple and she's the amazing love of his life and in any of their scenes together it was not believable unfortunately for a lot of her scenes her scenes solo 
Her character is not believable. It, it the, the decisions her character makes in this movie, none of them make sense. And not, not, and not in like a good way where they keep you off balance with the character here. No, this is in a horrible way where you're wondering, well, if she did this, why is she doing this? Then why is she doing this? And none of it makes sense. And then we have poor, poor then D. Newton, who is supposed to be Hugh Jackman's partner. And it's also hinted that she may be in love with him, but she has a traumatic past that we don't ever learn anything about. And it makes her character just useless. That this film is, unfortunately, it's what I would call a cheap painting movie. Nice to look at, but not something you ever want to own. Or in my case, ever want to watch again. This was painful after a while. No matter how many excuses I made for it, no matter how beautifully shot this film is, and it is beautifully shot, it is amazingly scored. Those two things I can't take away from this movie. What I can take away from this movie is pacing is bad, the plot is bad, the acting is so-so at best. It, it lacks too many things that could have made this movie a great movie. And maybe, maybe if someone would have went into one direction with it instead of throwing multiple directions like it was a multiverse of a film going on here, maybe it would have been better. The sci-fi elements, I, were, I was extremely interested in those elements of this film and they never focus on it. Instead, it's like I was left with a movie to tell me, hey, what would happen? if the futuristic elements of Minority Report and digging into people's minds was used and nothing was explained to you about it or the world or what's really going on in the world. And because you don't take time to explain those things, but yet take way too much time explaining other elements that make no sense, what you in turn do is make a promising movie a bad movie. So, <laughs> Reminiscence. Currently streaming on HBO Max. Out of a possible 10, I'm going to give this movie a 2.5 out of 10. Again, it looks amazing. The score is amazing. It's so many elements in this film that could have worked if they would have taken their time to explain them more. And what I mean by that is that you don't, you don't have to add minutes to the film, but you can cut out a lot of stuff that you didn't need. And it's explained the world. The point that you never have the world that they're in explained to you fully is the biggest flaw in this movie because that world alone could have made this movie more interesting and they chose not to do it so again reminiscence streaming on hbo max check it out let us know what you think about it this has been another jvs movie review peace people